Well, it looks like another beautiful day at Holliver Inlet. Maybe too beautiful. This might be a layup win for the boats, especially if this is any indication of what the rest of our day is going to look like. Welcome back to Boats vs. Holliver, where Man and Machine take on Holliver Inlet down in Miami, Florida. Our first boater to step into the ring and do battle with Hall Over Endless Week is going to be none other than the Red Top Legend. I know what you're thinking, it's difficult to lead off with the Red Top Legend, but sometimes you got to put your best first and go ahead and take the early lead. Here you can tell the Red Top Legend is having no troubles with Hall Over Inlet at all, but Hall Over doesn't look like it's going to give many people much trouble at all today. Our second boater to step into the ring and do battle with Hall Over today is going to show us what it's like when you couldn't get that top down when you left the sandbar. Here you can tell our guy left the sandbar with the top up and is now ripped to shreds. I really want to give Hall Over the win for this one, but if you can't tell, I'm going to be grasping for straws today to find a reason for Hall Over to take a win, because the conditions are too good. Let's go ahead and try flipping this up. Let's let the boats race. Even if they don't know they're racing, we'll shamelessly make them think they are. Let's go to the boats versus Hall Over judges and see if they'll approve this. It's two yes boats to play. There's one thumbs up. Good oh. news for Joe's. Oh, please. Let's see how our second judge votes. Thank you for the fit. Oh, tough sledding there. It's all even. Their fate hangs on the thumb of our final judge. Thumbs up. Average Joe's can play. All right, here we go. We're going to start off with an MTI 340X, I believe, versus a Midnight Express. We got Trips versus Twins here, and this MTI is going to absolutely smoke them. Sure, I understand they may not know they were racing, but they are now, and the MTI is going to take the win. I know I'm not going to get all these boats right as we go rapid fire through this, so if that wasn't a Midnight Express, let me know. Here we go with the big boys. Even here, I'm not 100% sure which boats both these are, but this does look like an Azmet in the front that's going to take the early lead, and it is going to smoke the 65-foot Viking that's right behind it. That Viking really should have picked up the pace on this one. Here we're going to go singles versus twins. Ah, uh, the age-old question, which is better, one engine or two? Right now, the single engine Glastron is absolutely destroying that twin engine Hydrosports. My man in the Hydrosports should be absolutely embarrassed by this one. But those singles versus twins is for rookies. Come on now, everybody's got trips anymore anyway. So how about a trips versus twin race? Here we've got a Boston Whaler with trip 350s on the back. And watch this scout with twin engines come in and absolutely annihilate this guy. Maybe he's taking it easy because he's got the kids in the bow with no life jackets like a moron. But who knows? Anyways, he got embarrassed in this showing. Maybe he should let his wife drive next time. Our next two boats to compete are going to be a fire tug and a sport fish boat. We obviously know who should win this one, but you don't want to mess with Miami Dade Fire Rescue. As you can tell here, this tug is going to pass Therapy 4, which I always am complaining is coming through Hall Over Too Slow, so why would he change that up today? Even on a great day, he's going to take it super easy, and the Miami Dade Fire Tugboat is going to take the win here too. Our next two boats to compete are going to be a Donzi versus a Cabin Cruiser, and this will be finally one of the first ones that probably goes the way it actually should go. You're going to see this Donzi coming in through Hall Over, and I believe this is a Sea Ray Cabin Cruiser we'll see coming up here in just a few moments, and the Donzi's going to go ahead and pass him. And to add insult to injury, the Donzi, once it gets by the Sea Ray, is actually going to go ahead and cut this captain off just to showboat a little bit and insert his dominance on him. And what better way to end this off than an Invincible 37 up against a nice sports fishing boat. I love watching these things cut through the water because they absolutely smoke everything and that sport fisher that he just passed stood no chance. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Boats vs. Hallover. If you did, be sure to check out our other channels. We've got Wavy Boats who gets us all this great footage from Hallover Inlet and my channel Broncos Guru where we do some great comedy boating videos over there as well. I do fully expect to go back to the original format in the next episode so thanks for letting me have a little bit of fun today and if you haven't already guys, drop an anchor on the subscribe button.